everywhere, you know, when, once you, you know, need something. She calls Brooklyn her home, but Baghdad remains very much on her mind. She recalls a day in 2005 when she was walking to work with her father. And once we got to the, to the road, they stopped us and uh, my dad, he was, you know, he tried to protect me. He hugged me. So then uh, they separated us and um, they shot him first and they killed him in front of me. She was also shot, taking bullets in her arm, shoulder, chest and in her left lung. It was, that's, it still, it still hurts. She was working with the U.S. military as a translator. She's convinced that's why she and her family became targets. And that's why Noor Abbas can't reveal her real name. Shortly thereafter, her mother and three brothers fled to Syria, joining a flood of refugees. In the last six years, almost five million Iraqis have left their homes. Abbas spent two months recuperating in a U.S. Air Force hospital before returning to work. After a year and a half of waiting for paperwork from U.S. immigration and still afraid, she left Iraq. Arriving in the States with only $300, she immediately began to contact U.S. soldiers she worked with in Baghdad. She first went to upstate New York and then to Florida before returning by bus and settling here in New York. In anticipation of her family joining her, she saved up and rented an apartment in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. <laughs> she was reunited with them when they came as refugees from Syria. After a three-year separation, Abbas's mom, Um Saif, now cooks her daughter's favorite Iraqi dish. The family reunion, however, is bittersweet. Um Saif's sons are depressed and miss Iraq. They both have degrees in engineering and can't find jobs. Agencies that work to resettle refugees say the work issue is the toughest challenge for Iraqi newcomers. Um, most employers expect that you're going to kind of work your way up, um, take something more um, entry level and, and, you know, make your way up in the field. So that comes as a big shock to uh, many of the Iraqis. What troubles Um Saif the most is that her youngest son didn't get to finish high school in Baghdad. Adjusting to a new life here in the States hasn't been easy. In Baghdad, the 54-year-old had a big home and a car. She misses the Iraq where her family was happy. She is considering going back to Iraq, despite the ongoing violence, so her college-educated sons can get good jobs and her youngest can complete his high school education. Even for Noor, life here is not what she expected. She is homesick herself. You know, each country has, has its own flavor. For the 29-year-old, however, it's more complicated. In March, Abbas married an Iraqi-American. They met in Baghdad and were reunited in the U.S. and are now living in Virginia. <laughs> Once again, Noor Abbas finds herself in a painful situation of being separated from her family and perhaps never returning to Iraq. Rima Abdelkader, New York City News Service.